I want to show you how we simplify what's called rational expressions in math. Rational expressions are functions that are easily recognizable because they have x terms in the top of a fraction and x terms in the bottom of the fraction. What makes this a rational expression is that it's a ratio between two functions, both functions of x. In any case, to simplify a rational expression, you take the factored form of the top and bottom. Here we've divided our numerator into factors and factor the bottom, which is already done for us here. And we cancel out like terms. x minus 1 and x minus 1 are the same. It appears in the top and bottom of the function and they will cancel out. What we're left with is the function y equals 2x plus 1, which is called an equivalent algebraic expression to this. These two are the same function. The only difference is that this function here is limited. In this case, x is not allowed to be the number 1 because if x was 1 in our original function, we'd have to divide by 1 minus 1 or 0, and you can't divide by 0. This 2x plus 1, where x is not 1, is equivalent to writing this, but it's much easier to look at and to calculate with. In fact, if you graphed this function, on a graphing calculator or with a table of values or something, you would find that the function actually looks like the line 2x plus 1. y-intercept of 1, 2, 2, 2, and the line looks like this. The only difference between this function and the line 2x plus 1 is this restriction that x is not allowed to be 1. The way that manifests itself on the graph is with an open circle where x equals 1. But otherwise, this function is exactly the same as 2x plus 1, just with a little hole in the graph where x is pl plus 1. A more common expression to see will be an unfactored quadratic in the numerator. In this case, all you have to do is factor the numerator and factor the denominator if necessary. In this case, the numerator factors to x minus 3, x minus 4. Our denominator does not need to be factored further. If you're unsure of how to get from here to here, check out my video on factoring. This should remind you of the function we saw before, where we have a like term in the top and bottom of the rational expression. x minus 3 in top and x minus 3 on the bottom cancel each other out, and this function happens to be equivalent to x minus 4. We always have to be careful of the restrictions on rational expressions. Here, we would be dividing by 0 when x is 3. x is not allowed to be 3 because you're not allowed to divide by 0. Finally, larger rational expressions are treated exactly the same way. Here, the numerator and denominator are both fully factored which is always the first step. And now we look for like terms in the top and bottom and cancel them out. I see an x minus 3 here and an x minus 3 here. They will cancel each other out. I see an x plus 4 in the top and an x plus 4 in the bottom. They will cancel out. I also see an x minus 5 in the top and an x minus 5 in the bottom. And they will cancel out. What I'm left with here is simply y equals x minus 2. Isn't that much easier to look at, calculate, and graph than this monstrosity? That's the reason we simplify rational expressions.
what are the restrictions here? If we look at our original function, the denominator would be 0 if x was 3, because 3 minus 3 gives us 0, and then 0 times anything else will still give us 0. If x was 5, the denominator would be 0, because 5 minus 5 gives us 0. And here, x would have to be minus 4 to give us 0 in the denominator. So, the restrictions here are that x is not allowed to be 3 or 5 or minus 4. And if you drew this graph, you would find that it's a line with three holes in it. x minus 2 probably looks something like this, but x is not allowed to be 3 or 5 or negative 4. Excuse the quality of that graph. Simplifying rational expressions is as simple as ensuring that your numerator and denominator are fully factored, cancelling out terms that appear in both the top and bottom, and stating your restrictions based on what numbers of x would make factors in your denominator equal zero.